this video i will show you how to calculate phase center in hfss so first of all i am going to take uh, a phone antenna you can see this phone antenna where the polarization of the antenna is going to be in theta plane uh, and also in y z plane okay. so for that phase center calculation there is a script to run the script you what you need to do is you can just go to tools run script select that particular location and select the script in the script it will ask you some uh, selection points you need to identify which component of electric field is going to be the co-polarization of this antenna if you take this antenna the e theta field is going to be co-polarization of field and e5 will be the cross field and you also need to mention which plane is co and which plane is cross so you have to select the right plane for finding the phase center so for this one y and z direction will be the calculation plane and the angle what it means is what is a beam direction beam width of your antenna some antenna will be 10 c beam it will be like a plus or minus 3 degree on antenna you can say roughly 10 degree plus or minus 10 degree for a helical kind of antenna it can be broader and beam width so so you can click calculate what it do is it will try to find out a point around the antenna at which at the far field the phase of the radiation pattern become variation of the phase pattern becomes zero or close to zero or else you can say at which the point inside an antenna where the plane the far field will become a plane wave without any without any phase variation it starts working like a plane, plane wave these kind of a phase centers are very important in terms of calculating uh, or using for uh, reflector antenna kind of simulation. You need to place this kind of a field at which the phase center of this reflector comes. At that point, you will get a maximum gain. So it tries to calculate which is the point it will give you least variation in the uh, radiated phase it will do automatic will automatic uh, optimization and finally it will tell you what is the point at which phase center is you can see this scale is 0.08 to 0.2 it's hardly 0.2 db uh, 0.2 degree variation across plus or minus 2 degree if i close this window and go back to the design it automatically created a phase center at the point, this point. So this is the phase center of this horn antenna. Next, we will see how to calculate the phase center of a helical kind of antenna where the antenna is a circularly polarized antenna. That means the radiated component E theta and E phi will have a uh, power there. So both polarization we can get a power. Uh, here you can see the multiple uh, radiation patterns are already plotted. This is a LHCP pattern. This is a sorry that was the RHCP. This is a LHCP. This is the pain of the helical lander. In order to before running that, I am going to delete this all result because it will be easy for the script to update the result. There is only one plot at the under the result. So going to run the same script and selecting the script click open here i am going to put a 20 degree for a helical antenna with beam width to be more compared to other and you can select e theta or e5 doesn't matter similarly you can select e x or e5 and click on the calculate button
So calculate at this point where the phase variations are very, very, very small in terms of 0.2 degree. And you can see this is a point where the antenna phase center is calculated. So this is a global coordinate and this is the point at which the phase center is phase center for the center. So if you are interested to use this Python script, please be in touch with any of the HFSS technical team.